Welcome back, it's Zach again. Hey, and it's me here. And in this tutorial, we are going to show you how to implement a timer in your game, and then use that timer along with the score that we taught you last time to do uh, something cool like a, you know, like a bonus score or something like that. So uh, let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is show you what it's going to look like by the end of the tutorial. Then we're going to start working on the timer, and then we're going to show you how you can incorporate that into your score bonus. All right, so let's start off by showing the game. All right, similar to last time, except here in the top left corner, you see this timer that's counting up at five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds. And still, when I collect the diamonds, I get five points. And I'm going to finish the level like normal. And now the message says... Aw, you didn't get a timer bonus. So I didn't do it fast enough, so I'm going to have to do this one a little faster to get a bonus. As long as you notice, the timer just got reset um, when he's at a new level. And nice. You beat the level in less than 10 seconds, and you got an additional 50 bonus points on top of the 50 points that you get when you beat the level. 25. Oh, you get 20. That's right. You get 25 when you beat the level. All right. So that should give you 155. And so now I'm, I'm back at the top. I'm not tied anymore. Tied. That makes me sad. All right. So let's show how we're going to do this. And let's open back to where we ended last time. And the first thing we want to do is implement a timer. So we're going to make an, our own object called obj underscore timer. And this object's interesting because it has no sprite tied to it. So it's in the level, it's just that the player can't see it, so it's essentially invisible. And we call these types of objects control objects. So control objects are objects that do not have a sprite attached to them. So the first thing we want to do is start the timer. And we want to remember that the timer starts at zero at the beginning of each level. So we're going to add event. And we go into other. And you see this room start. So every time we start a new level, we want to start the timer at zero. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go into this control tab. And you see here this variables. And we're going to make this set variable. We're going to drag it. So you might be wondering right now, what on earth is a variable? Well, you remember how we did score? Um, and we just used a button that said set score. And we made that, um, you know, we made that 5 and we made it relative. Well, score was a built-in variable. What that means is that GameMaker comes with a variable called score. So think of it just as a label for a number. And so we're going to make our own variable, and we're going to call it time. And this way, we're telling GameMaker that, hey, there's going to be this number that we are calling time. And when the room starts, we're going to set it to 0. OK. So we've started at 0. And now we want, at every step, to increment it. What, so do, you mean by, what, what's inc what do you mean by incrementing Increment it? means to increase um, at a constant rate of OK, right, of course, because if it's a timer, then that just means it's going to increase um, with every second that goes by. That's right. Except remember in Game Maker, instead of going by seconds, we go by steps. So on the step event, we're going to increase the timer by setting again this variable. So we're going to drag this in. We still want to work with the time variable. And we want to work with the value of 1 divided by 30. Whoa, what? 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 <laughs> that's because there's 30 steps for every second. So if you increase it by 1 divided by 30, every 30 steps will be w equal to 1. Oh, right, because that means that, I guess in a second, it's going to add 1 over 30 30 times, which makes it increase by 1 every second. That's right. And if you remember from our score tutorial that we want to check relative. so Because you're adding it onto what it already is. It to it. Right. So click OK. Now we've incremented it. And now we also want to show it to the player. So we're going to go to add event. And Game Maker has this draw event. And draw is also called every step, except it's specific in that it draws things. So we're going to go to again this control and this time we're going to draw the variable and we get to name our variable and we remember we called the time and we want to click this relative again 
and that will make it be drawn at wherever we put this object in the level. So instead of having a sprite, this object will display the amount of time that's gone by since the level has started. Yeah, that's correct. So click OK. And now let's go into our room. Let me show you how to draw. So let's go into our room. And let's place this timer object. And let's place it in the top left. So remember that wherever we put the timer, it's where it's going to show you what the timer value is. So also in room 2, let's put the timer in the top left. Let's click OK. Let's run the game and see what it looks like. Cool. So you see the timer increasing. And it should reset after I finish this level. And remember, it's start back to zero. So we're Great. doing pretty good at that. Seems like we're done with that. So now... So, I mean, we could drag that object anywhere we wanted to. We, we just put it at the top left, but you could put that at, I don't know, any position. The bottom left, the bottom in the middle. Um, top left just seems to work well because it's going to be next to your score. Right, that'll be the easiest place for player to see it. So now we want to give what's called bonus score. So we go to our end of the game, end of the level event, which was in the goal. And now when we finish this level, we want to check to see if our score is on, if our time is actually is under a certain time limit. So we go to this control again, and now we're going to work with test variable and when we finish it we want to drag that in and the variable is time so we want to check if time is well I guess I don't know it depends on what you want to make uh, as your as your bonus time period so we'll say we'll give bonus points to anyone who beats the level in under 10 seconds okay so let's set the 10 and we set this operation is smaller than so smaller than 10 so if time is smaller than 10 then do the actions that we are now going to list. Right, and also remember that time is a variable tied to this ob timer object and not this goal object. So we have to, and there's this applies to, we have to click the object and then go to timer and click OK. So now we have, if the timer is smaller than 10. We have remember, to do that whole triangle stuff again, right? Right. So I want to start and end. Now everything between these will happen. And so now I want to actually display a message here. So I'm going to drag that here. And I want to edit the message that says, yes, you did beat the level. And also, you have earned bonus points. You have earned, what are we going to make the bonus points? Let's 50? say 50. 50 bonus points. Oh, I should also say because you beat it under 10 seconds. Okay, let's, uh, let's change that. So you have earned 50 bonus points for beating it in under 10 seconds. Cool. Okay. Now and then we, we should do another message, I guess, over. Uh, in case they don't beat it under the bonus time, we should tell them that, yeah, you beat the level, but unfortunately you did not get the bonus points. All right, so for that one, let's do an else. And remember the triangles. And let's put in another message. Let's tell them that they beat the level, but they didn't beat it fast enough to get bonus points. And now when we say when you tell them that we want to give them bonus points, we actually want to give them bonus points. We go into this score tab, and we're going to go to set score again. Remember to drag this between the two triangles, and let's give them 50 bonus points. And the way you increase is by checking relative. relative. So click OK. Cool. Um, I guess this can look really crazy. Uh, seeing as there are so many things in here. But the order of this stuff is pretty important, so we're just going to run through it, um, make sure that your order is the same as here. So first thing we're going to do is set the score relative to 25, just because you've beaten the level. Then there is a check that if it's taking you less than 10 seconds to beat the level, you're going to get a message which tells you, congrats on beating, and you've earned 50 bonus points. 
then we're actually going to increase the score by 50. Okay, and then else, so that means that if you have beaten the level in over 10 seconds, it says congratulations on beating the level. You know, you still get the, of course, you still get the 25 points, but you don't get the 50 bonus points. Okay, after that, of course, all this stuff remains the same. If the next room exists, go to the next room. And if there, if there is no other room, if you're at the last level, then show the high scores table, end the game. All right, so we've shown you how to do these things. Shown you how to award bonus points and tell the player if they beat it fast enough or not. Cool, so let's check it out. Let's test this. All right, so here I go. Timer going good. You got a score going good for now. Look how fast I am, jeez. And this Oof. time he actually beat it fast enough, so he should get 75 extra points. Don't you wish you could do and that, sure Zach? Enough, his score is at 100. And I'm a little jealous of me here's awesome skills. Oh boy, I don't think I could get this. You got it, you got it. Uh, oh. oh! Sorry you didn't beat it fast enough to get the bonus points. But you did get... And we're still, we're still tied. tied. I guess we're meant to be tied for life. For life. All right, well, that's all we had to show you for this week. Remember to save and ask your teachers if you have any questions.